love this place. As you guys all know, headed off to New York this week. Did it last week, but messed up filming. But I had to stop at the beautiful State Line Speedway. Yeah, it's crazy to think about, but August 9th, my dad passed away. And this is where we spent our weekends. Yeah, it's crazy to think about, but August 9th, it was a year my dad passed away. This is where I spent my childhood memories. Up in these stands every week. It's crazy to think. <clears throat> a year has gone by already. But I had to uh, pay an homage to my dad. And somehow, um, I, feel, I feel his presence here. It's just something about this place. I feel he's here with me. Um, that probably makes no sense to some people, but maybe it does to some other people. Yeah, very cool. So I got a passenger this week, I think. I think my dad's riding with me this week. But we are going that way to Jamestown because I want to show you something pretty cool. I almost am half tempted just to go to the races just because it's a Saturday night. Uh, about five hours from now, they'll be starting the races up, but I got other stuff to do. But there will be a day where we'll make it up here. Yeah! Making memories, doing another weird story in a cemetery, plus I got a celebrity to show you. Think about that. Yeah. Jamestown, it's got some stuff in it. We'll get the Lucy next, but I gotta do a story first. Have you ever heard the weird myth about the lady in glass at the Lakeview Cemetery in Jamestown? Do you want to hear it? I bet you do. You know, you gotta love a good story when myths get created over decades and decades. And the lady in glass, she's got a lot of them. But I'm here to debunk the story of the myth of the lady in glass. Another one, another cemetery story. I know, I know. Feels like I've been here before. Before I get to the crazy stories of the lady in glass, her actual name is Grace Galloway. Born October 5th, 1871, died November 2nd, 1898. And she was placed in between her dad, John, and her mother, Sarah, over here. And you're, there's another connection. I'm going to tell you about, but let me tell you about the myths of Grace. Myth number one, she was a bride who died on her wedding day. Myth number two, she died on a prom date back in the 1800s. I'm going to, I'm going to keep going. Number three, she died with the chauffeur because they had a forbidden love. She was a very rich woman. And I'll get to that point in the story. Here we go, there's a good one. The myth about Grace is her family encased her in that statue. That's why there's glass around it. I'm just going with the story, people. Just hear me out. She roams the cemetery, trying to find her lost love, either on her prom night or her wedding day, the day she died. I got the real story. You want to hear it? You know, it's crazy how stories get started, but she was the only daughter to John and Sarah. The rest of the kids were boys, so she had two brothers when she was young. A sad story in itself. Here's a fact for you. John, her father, this family was millionaires. They had money. Guess where the money come from that the Galloways made to be millionaires? That's right, good old Titusville, PA. They made their money in oil, 50 miles away. Yeah, see, a lot of vlogs I do always connect back to where I live. It's insane, but when I read the Titusville story, this connected to it, and the stories behind this girl, I had to come do the vlog. You know me. They got this shrub 
around her thing. You really can't get back there, and I'm not going to go stomping back there. But she was 27 when she died. She was an opera singer, and she went to the Boston Institute for Music. To study music for the opera. She wanted to be a big-time opera singer. But on her trip to Boston, she caught something. On her voyage to the Boston Institute of Music, she happened to catch tuberculosis, and she got violently sick, and she ended up dying in Pittsburgh, PA. But her father, being as stubborn as he was and being a millionaire in town here, he pretty much threw every dollar he had making her, well, trying to make her better. Tuberculosis pretty much took over and killed her at the age of 27. Now the statue that contacted people from Italy, they sculptured that. There's, she's not in there, people. She's in the ground here. But the statue that contacted an Italy artist, he did that for her and they put it up here. But the glass is another story. The tragic death of her dying so young, her dad and her brother were masons. They built this foundation here. But like I said, they contacted an uh, artist from Italy and he did the statue and the marble work. But what happened was they just put the statue up and they put it up and she was getting all dirty. So, well, you know what the dad did, right? He put up the shield of glass to protect his daughter. Like I said, she was only 27 years old when she died. But she's been encased in that since the 1800s. But the stories that created around her, decades and decades, people get these crazy stories. And as she died from a broken heart, she haunts the cemetery. She don't. She was just a tragic loss to tuberculosis when she was 27. An opera singer from Jamestown, New York. But still, I... I get, I get into those stories, I'm like, how do these rumors even get started? I don't know, but stuff like that always, I had to do this story. I found a story like three weeks ago, I think. I had to do, I was here last week, but you guys know if you watched me, the filming got messed up. But man, Grace Galloway, just a young 27 year old who died too early in life and dress. A picture of her and a dress was sent over to Italy. So that dress, was sculptured of an own personal dress that Grace owned. I love weird stories like that. It's crazy, but I find these stories and I pick through them and I try to debunk them. And there's stuff that I don't know that ain't real or what's fake or what's made up. But the story I read was pretty honest. It was about a journalist from Jamestown here who contacted the family member and says, what is all the stories going on with your family member? And she told the real story. The real story was, she was just a young girl who died of tuberculosis. And that's no lie. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. I was so involved with the story I was doing with Grace Galloway that I didn't realize when I looked on the map, Lucille Ball is buried over there. I'm going to leave these people. There's two cars there. They're paying their respects to Lucille Ball right over there. I thought, well, if I'm over here doing the story on Grace Galloway, I'll stop by and show you Lucille Ball's grave. She's from Jamestown, New York here. And her houses, where she grew up and lived, are in town here. It's crazy. This place, uh, and walking in, you've seen the path where it says L with the heart. You can, as soon as you pull in the cemetery, follow that path, it takes you right to Lucy's grave. But I'll get down there as soon as these people leave. Pretty cool stuff when you can just be researching a project and stumble upon Lucille Ball's grave. And on the back here, I gotta show you with her stone here. Her family is on the back here. Her dad, her mother, Lucille herself, and Fred, the brother. Right beside their grave, is Fred C. Hunt. That is their grandpa, which is, I heard a crazy story about that guy. Oh, I love that. I, I love, I love Lucy's show. I used to watch it on TBS when they had reruns. Crazy to be standing right by her grave site. Yeah, trust me, you're not going to miss her grave. You just follow the basic trail right to it. You know what's strange? Back when Lucy was trying to break into acting, she was selling cigarettes and the acting people said, you're not even funny. You have no acting skills, so don't even try to be an actor. Look what Lucy did. Iconic Lucy. Yeah. 
So, people, they say, yeah, give up on your dreams because you have a dream or you want to do something. Don't quit. Lucy did. Superstar. There's a crazy story about Lucy's brother, Fred. Grandpa Fred bought Fred a gun and he was letting his girlfriend in the yard shoot him. And she shot and shot the neighbor kid and severed his spine. That family sued Fred. Not Lucy's brother, but the grandpa for buying the gun giving to Fred. Fred lost everything. And later on down in Fred's life, Lucy ended up taking care of Fred, Grandpa Fred. You just never know until you look into these stories. And I have no idea where I am because the GPS quit talking to me. So I'm just traveling the back road. Maybe it'll lead me home. Oh man, are you serious? I didn't even know where I was going. I just started taking roads and I'm headed right back to where I wanted to go. Huh. That was awesome. And a guy just pulled out in front of that truck. He wasn't too happy. Showed him he was number one. Nothing but Aspens and asphalt. This is an Aspen. You can tell that it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. Man, oh man. It is 3.40 on a Saturday. And I can tell you when I was a kid, um, my dad would have us packed up in the car already. And we'd be headed up here, my dad's old Ford, because my dad never wanted to miss his seat. We sat in the same seat for uh, 10 plus years, but my dad would want to leave religiously at 3.30, no later than 3.40 when we come to the races on a Saturday to stay lunch. It just hit me. I drove by there 3.30 through, well, it's 3.39 right now, so that's a flashback memory. Man, I love that place. What a place. Jamestown it was raining. I went through a rain cloud and now on the way home it's off and on. It is nasty looking out. Oh yeah, there you go. You followed me all the way from Jamestown to Pennsylvania. Nice. Oh yeah. The weather finally turned us loose. Of course it quits raining on my final day of filming. That's how it works though. Did you know how many connections I can make to Titusville, PA? Seriously. Did you know Milton Hershey lived in Titusville? They moved when they were three. Yeah, his dad was an oil man. Just in passing, somebody sent some info to me. The more you know. Whoa! Get out of here. <laughs> People, I hate bees. Yeah, Milton Hershey. His family lived here. It's crazy what oil did for this town. I'm just saying. So those were the days. Those were the days, my friend. When I visited Grace Galloway, the mystery lady in glass. Oh man, and Lucille Ball's great. And I visited a loud vacuum over at the car wash. Man, oh man. Hey, tune in to me every week. You never know what you're gonna learn. I learn new stuff every week. Everybody sends me stuff. They want me to do a video on this historical stuff. Keep it coming. I appreciate it. You wait till I get my post office box. I got so many requests. <laughs> that thing's gonna be jam packed full of stuff. But how awesome is that? But I love you guys all. I'll see you next week. Crazy how these weeks just go by. And how come this weather couldn't have been yesterday?
I fought rain clouds for six hours yesterday. But I got the vlog done. That's what counts. Love you guys. This is a dangling.